Welcome to Visual Basic Database System. This uh, database system I put together earlier, and I have all the buttons right here. You can add new, you can save, you can move previous, move next, delete, and uh, exit. This is just just a label. It does nothing really. But if you click on this label, it shows you whatever is going on here. You click here, and but here I haven't done anything. I just left them like that. And underneath here, I have a tab, tab control. So the other tab, I have a browser in there. Just use Google as the default browser, which uh, you guys can put together if you want. And here we also have the menu. You can use the menu to do whatever you want to do. You can, let's say, we want to add. If you want to use the menu, you can always use the button right here. So let's see. I'm gonna add some uh, information right there. Just some records, sorry. So right there, let me say the name is uh, let's say Richie, Richie Moore. Yeah, that's fine. And the contact details will be Steve Ole. And uh, let's say the address is uh, whole thing road. Then um, let's give this a number, whatever number. That's cool. And uh, the second part of the address, we can just say down center. Down center. Okay. Now the postcode, we can as the rest of the code. And how many hours? I'm charging you for I say approximately 78 hours. If I decide to add you can add it right there and you see all of this information that i've just entered right here we can also delete let's say we want to delete let's say we want to delete that very record we just bam that's it gone we can move, move previous move next you see that we can do whatever we want to do we can also save it okay so what I'll do now is just to take you guys straight into the, the visual basic development environment and just uh, create a very quick database system for you guys to see. So let's go into visual basic now. All right. Okay, the first thing I'll show you guys is the record that I made up in access. That's the record right there. So I will now embed this very record into my visual basic. So let's go straight into VB now. Okay, back in VB, we start a new project. Let's just make sure Windows Forms application is selected. Whatever name you want to give to it, I'm just gonna call it uh, database two because I already have one. So click on OK. Now that's my form right there. Let's give the form. Let's just uh, modify this form a little bit. So let's go for one thousand. 1066 by 621 so that's the form size start position let me get that in the center there it's right there in the center so the next thing I'll do is to go to data source right here or you can see it right here as well just click on our data once that is ready this dialog box pops up the next thing you do is click on next once this next dialog box click on next as well then connect when you then connect if you want you can change it but i would advise you to make sure you change it because uh, the the database system i'm using is access database not sql so i'm going to now click on ok now i would then browse straight to wherever i have my database i actually have it on my desktop right there that's the database there main password if you want to delete or you can leave it there test your database to make sure it's working as expected that's correct click on ok and once that is done click on next and this is actually asking you that the, uh, the database would now be downloaded straight into the file you've just created click on yes and next again and that is it i want this very table right here let's see i want client table so i may as well select it all because i might end up using all of this information later on for another project okay this is what i need right here and i click on finish and that is it my database is ready for me to work on so the next thing I would do before I start any other thing is uh, let me go straight get my tool uh, toolbox. I now need my tab control. Let's get the tab control. That's the tab control right there. So the first tab, the second tab, the second tab. Since the second tab is right here, I might as well just uh, do whatever I want to do. Let's get my browser straight into the second tab right here. 
okay the browser is already there and let's just change the names let's change the names you come to tab page select that click on it so the very first tab I would call that database let me come to there that will be known as database maybe systems then select the second tab and I will call that web browser okay there click on ok done so the next thing we want to do is enlarge the size of this alright so the next thing is get some buttons in place I'm gonna need a couple of these buttons so let me just speed that up I need more of those okay this is how the design is looking right now so all I need to do is now to get the client information so I'm just gonna get this well the first thing let's get the grill in, in the system yep I'll get that drop that in there okay that's fine let's extend it like so that's fine and the next thing we need to do is get each individual data and just paste it right there so I'm just gonna speed that up and get back to you guys alright this is how the whole system is looking now so just a little bit of formatting to do and make it look a little bit much better than the way it looks right now so I'll just get that done and we'll take it from there that's good select it all and just like so all right so we need to align this as well okay this is how the whole system is looking right now so all I just just need to do now is uh, to increase the font size let me come here to the font let's go for something maybe 12 okay that's not too bad yep yeah, that's fine so we need to move this let's, let's move that away yeah brilliant a little bit more yes extend that a bit more all right so the design of the interface is ready but right up here you can see the menu that is there we can always delete this if we want but i'm just going to leave it right there okay now i have all my system ready and uh, it's going to i will follow this by double clicking on the add button so right in there the name of my database that is it right there so this is the one the system automatically generates so let me just copy that dump, dump it in there and i just say that is client binding source dot add so that will be add new so I will also say client binding source dot focus because at one point or one day focus I want you to focus on on that very oh no I sorry about that I need the client that will be client let's get rid of that client text box rather yeah dot focus okay right there so anytime i click on that button the add button the focus will be set on this uh, text box okay the next thing is to let's do the saving first now all of the information for the saving is right here anyway so i can just copy that and just dump it right there you can see the system save me dot validate and it's calling client binding and edit then uh, the table adapter manager dot update all okay that's it exactly the same lines of code so i would then go to the navigation part of the whole system so say undo let's go for client binding source dot move previous that's fine then we need that move next client binding that's it right there dot move next there done then the next thing is delete okay double click on that the same thing make sure it's client binding system whatever your, the name of your database is my is called client dot that will be remove remove current data there okay take a good look at it move previous move next move remove current data and this is just to save it and uh, the next part of it okay delete let's uh, sorry exit so let's just say application application dot exit done all right so i think i'm about done let's see what's going to happen next so let's just run it and see how it looks like I run that okay yeah that's good so let's try and add data to this click on add 
see we have automatically have a space in there and you can see the cursor right there so let me just make up uh, any client id so the name might be in lines okay the contact detail will be let's say darren darren cool then uh, the address let's go for my way all right let's put a number there and the rest of the address let's just say Kensington Villa then the postcode may be KV95RT and how many hours okay that's the total hours all we just need to do now is to say add and you see all of those information right there look at it those are the information I just made up now and the other thing is a uh, week we can delete or do any other thing we want to do so let's say we want to get we want to get rid of this just click on delete that's it gone delete and we can move previous we can move next and save the data and so on What's left for me to do is to change the value in here into this label and the form click event as well so let's come down to form select the event click or the method click whatever you want to call it so that's fine so when i click on the form i want it to change to db record system i will also repeat the same thing for this very object here so let's look for the name of the object right there that's the name of the object okay so we want the the value in there to appear on the label itself right here so let's double click on it and change the event to click event drop this down and just select the click event there that's the click event so enter that same value that the uh, label one dot text equals the label plus whatever data is in here so i will repeat exactly the same thing for the rest of the labels and uh, let me just speed that up before i end this program okay now that uh, all of the content that should be or you know, that should appear on the label is completed there they are let me move that up see the rest guys and that is all of the content that I expect to appear on the label anytime I click on the on the label you can see I've used the click event for so let's go into the system I'm gonna run it now and there so if I click on this that appears on the label you see that okay if I click on the form itself it resets itself so what is left for me to do now is to make sure my browser has a default page let me set that to Google so now come here to the browser right there select the browser itself go to the properties and in the properties there I'm just gonna enter www.google.com dot com that's fine to so run the program and that's all there is to it so if I select the browser that's it I have a browser embedded into my database as well okay guys so with this I'm just gonna call it bye for now